Okay, so in section 1.4, 1 through 3, um, if you haven't tried those yet, why don't you pause this and actually give it a good old college try. So don't just try to cheat and watch me do them. Actually try them on your own for, you know, give it a good 10 or 15 minutes. And then if you're stuck, then watch the video. Or if you think you have some correct answers, then proceed. But again, trying to bypass the problem solving stage where you actually try to solve it yourself is probably not a good idea. So that said, let's look at number one. Um, so we're looking at a package of junior mints and it says what percent of the calories in junior mints is from fat. So the one thing you have to understand is percents are unitless. Um, you might think this guy is a unit, but it's just a symbol. So like, for example, 12% really means 12 out of 100 or 12 hundredths the decimal. And notice there's no units on those numbers. So a percent just means out of 100. It's really not a unit. It's not inches. It's not calories. It's not anything like that. So if someone asks you to find a percent, you know that your units have to match so that they can cancel. So you get this unitless answer. So on this problem, it says what percent of calories is from fat? So if you focus on calories from fat, okay, so you notice that you're going to have to have you know, calories divided by calories in order to um, get a percent. So you know you're focusing on calories from fat because the problem says that, excuse me, and it says that the calories from fat on the label is 30, all right? And so now, again, kind of like on a test, you take the part, divide by the total, say, points on an exam. So here we have 30 calories from fat, and how many calories total are in there is 170. So notice the units cancel, you know, calories divided by calories. And then if you divide it, you should get a non-unit answer, which your calculator will say something like that. And so you're going to round it to the percent. Now on the label, they actually don't tell you that. And that's because um, probably millions of dollars took place and lobbyists tried to lobby to get the percent fat on the label, but they lost. So the compromise is that they'd have to put the calories from fat and then make people do the math themselves. So the company, food companies decided eh, people probably aren't gonna do that, so they compromised. Um, but they fought it tooth and nail. Um, but again, this is the percent um, in the junior mints that is actually from fat. All right, so let's look at number two. All right, number two, it says, this package of junior mints accounts for 5% of the person's daily intake for a 2000 calorie diet. How was that number calculated? All right, so, we're trying to figure out that 5% of the daily intake, and that's for fat calories. All right, so again, if you look on the label, across from that 5%, if you go back and look, it says that there's three grams, and we're focusing on the category of fat here, All right? And so somehow they had to use this number to get that percent. And again, we know percents are unitless. So if we have three grams, of fat, then we know we're going to have to divide by some total dealing with grams and fat to get that percent. So if you look at the bottom of the label for a 2000 calorie diet, people are supposed to have 65 grams of fat, and that's the total. That's what it's out of. All right. So again, grams of fat cancel with grams of fat, and we need to convert that to a percent, right, which is about 4.6% when you move the decimal or multiply it by 100. Now on the label, notice they say 5%, and that's because a lot of times they round when they do labels. All right, and then let's look at number three. Number three, it says, what percent of a person's daily allowance of carbs does she consume if she eats this whole package of junior mints? Find the answer based on a 2,000 calorie diet. Okay, so what percent of carbs? So again, if you look at carbs on the label, all right, it states that there are what, 35 grams, and it states that that's 12% of the person's diet. So I guess if you wanted to eat, what would that be, about eight bags, you would get all the carbs that you need for your day, but probably not um, a good idea as far as nutrition goes. All right, so we're looking, again, this is the only number we have dealing with carbs. So we have 35 grams of carbs. So notice, you know you're going to have to divide by grams, okay? And it has to be a total dealing with carbs, okay? So this is going to be grams of carbs, but it's going to be some total. 
So if you go below and look at that bottom of the label, it says for a 2000 calorie diet, people need what? 300 grams of carbs. Oops, I guess I already wrote grams, that's all right. All right, so again, your grams of carbs cancel and your answer is unitless, which again is good, that's what we want. And so if you do the math, that ends up being about 11.7%. All right, and again, on the label, what did they say? 12%, so again, they just rounded is all they did. All right, so again, just remember when you're calculating a percent, your units have to cancel. So that's why if you get a test back from a teacher and you get, you know, 40 points out of, say, 50 points, your units cancel. You have points that you got right out of the points total. Those labels are gone, and then you get 0.8, which, again, you can either move the decimal two jumps and get 80%, or you can multiply by 100 to convert it to a percent. All right, that's the end of that. Look at 4 through 7, and I'll make a second video going over those problems.